In a bid to prevent extinction, 160 Cape and African white-backed vultures took a road from Hartebeersport in the northwest. They travelled 1,042 kilometres to custom-made enclosures at the Shamwari Private Game Reserve in the Eastern Cape. This is considered the largest relocation of vultures ever undertaken. But why? Vultures are a slow-breeding endangered species facing a critical decline in South Africa. Without them, there are negative consequences for the environment. Vultures are our natural recycling crew, if you want to call it that. You know, they are really important in our environment to prevent diseases and spread of diseases. So, the, the, you know, what makes them so unique is the acidity in their stomach is so incredibly strong that they're able to consume carcasses that have died from various diseases. Those diseases can be highly contagious, like anthrax, for example. And by rapidly consuming those carcasses, it prevents the spread of those diseases because you're taking that out of the environment. And you know, without vultures, that particular carcass could sit there for a couple of days, could start rotting, decomposing, other species could come into contact with it. All those, for example, anthrax spores can get into the ground and long term have a, have a devastating effect on our wildlife. And so, you know, they really are there to clean our environment and to keep us as human beings, wildlife and livestock actually safe and, you know, um, free from potential highly infectious diseases. Electrocution caused by power line collisions, poisoning and killing for belief-based purposes are among the main reasons South Africa's vulture population is decreasing. The belief is that vultures are clairvoyant and can see into the future. So there's a belief if you sniff the brain of a vulture, or if you sleep with a, a, a vulture skull under your pillow, or even if you wear a vulture's foot as a lucky charm around your neck, that you will be able to see into the future, be it for gambling, the national lotto, matric exams. And so they really are used to, to um, try and see into the future and to be able to dictate what's going to happen. Um, the methods really is around poisoning, you know, because if somebody's going to do it, they're going to want to get mass numbers. And so poisoning is being used to, to kill vultures for belief-based purposes. But you then also get individuals that are opportunistic, and if a vulture is grounded, they will then capture that vulture, and instead of, you know, contact, con uh, contacting the authorities or, you know, vulture, they will then take the opportunity of utilizing that individual, selling it, killing it, making some kind of money. Sometimes even the individual that's caught that bird doesn't use them themselves, but know that they're highly sought after and will sell them to a Muti practitioner, for example. So how will traveling in crates for 18 hours by road stop them from disappearing? Vultures that are saved and rehabilitated by Valpro either can't fly very well or at all, but they can reproduce. Thanks to newly built facilities at Shamwari, the disabled birds can be kept in separate enclosures, thus allowing them to breed. Moreover, their offspring will be fitted with tracking devices and released onto the game reserve. Most importantly is the safety of the birds. Shamwari has probably got the best anti-poaching team behind them. And so from a safety point of view in captivity, we know these birds are safe and they wouldn't be safe anywhere else.